So this video takes in a sense of time in mindfulness and mindfulness generally and in meditation on the breath. So there is a sense of the past. Your experience of the past informs your present. If you had a, a very good experience in your awareness of the breath, that experience of the past can be helpful or unhelpful. It can be unhelpful in the sense that you are attached to it and have expectation and want it to happen. You're living for that to happen again. Or more positively, you can have the sense of, well, how did that happen? What were the conditions that helped that absorption? to happen. Well, I set myself up correctly, I was quiet, I was in a good mood, I was quite relaxed, that all helped. So you learn from the past about what actually helped you become more present. In the present, you're always drawing on lessons from the past. So what helped, what didn't help? What experiences of the past show you that this kind of effort really works and helps you engage and open up and this kind of effort now is too tight, too controlling and in the past gave you a headache. Uh, or this kind of effort that I'm experiencing now, in the past it made me fuzzy and I fell asleep. So. You're working with what's happening here and now, but you're drawing on the past. And this is done in quite a subtle, subliminal way during the actual awareness of the breath meditation. Then there is a sense of the future. Let's say that you finish a mindfulness of the breath meditation and you noticed that you had a tendency just to sit back as it were in your mind and just let things go, just be very laissez-faire about the engagement. Your intention for the future to be more involved, more engaged, is something that you can set now for the future. So that when you actually come to do your next meditation, mindfulness of the breath, you remember that intention. The intention carries over from the past into the future. So when you sit down you go, oh yeah I had that tendency just to be a bit laissez-faire and whatever, so this time I'm going to be more engaged, watch out for that tendency. So what the intention from the past does is it gives you the perspective of noticing and watching out for a tendency which you felt was not useful in the past. And then when you come into the present meditation and you notice that you've got that kind of laissez-faire, more kind of laid back, not engaged, whatever kind of experience, then you can have the intention to come closer and be more vividly engaged in what happened. So in that way, your engagement with the present moment is informed by the past and gives you the seeds of learning for the future.